what's going on everybody welcome back to my youtube channel we have a nice and beautiful question on the board that says the square root of a times the square root of a times the square root of a is equal to 128 well our first step will be for us to get rid of this outer square root by taking the square of both sides so we see that this square cancels out this square root, leaving behind a times the square root of a times the square root of a to be equal to 128 squared. Now let's get rid of this square root by also taking the square of both sides. Now take the square of both sides. We have a raised to the power of 2 times now we have the square root of a times the square root of a raised to the power of 2 and this is equal to now the right hand side the powers multiply according to the law of indices so we have 128 and then 2 times 2 is 4 so we have the power of 4 so on the left we have a squared now this square cancels out the square root leaving behind what we have inside of the square root which is a times the square root of a to be equal to 128 to the power of 4. Now let's get rid of this last square root by also taking the square of both sides. Now taking the square of both sides on the left we have a squared raised to the power of 2 so I'm going to be raising this to the power of 2 times we have a raised to the power of 2 and then times this is the square root of a raised to the power of 2 and this is equal to 128 now from the law of indices 4 times 2 is 8 so we have the power of 8 now this becomes a to the 2 times 2 is 4 so we have the power of 4 times this is a squared times now this square cancels out the square root leaving behind a to be equal to 128 raised to the power of it now let's apply the law of indices to what we have here that says when i have x to the p times x to the q this is equal to, since I have x to be the base, I'll take just the x and then add the powers, p plus q. Now see what we have here. We have a to be the base, so I'm going to be taking a and I'll add the powers, which is 4 plus 2 plus 1. And this is equal to 128 to the power of 8. Now the left hand side now becomes a. So the power of 4 plus 2 plus 1 is 7 and this is equal to 128 to the power of 8 now to get rid of this 7 we're going to multiply the exponent by its inverse which is 1 over 7 and I'll do that to both sides so this is a to the power of 7 I will multiply this by 1 over 7 this is equal to on the right hand side I have 128 to the power of 8 I'll also multiply the exponent by 1 over 7 now see that this 7 cancels out the 7 leaving behind a to be equal to now the right hand side we have 128 now let's multiply the powers so 8 times 1 is 8 all over the denominator 7 but we can't just leave our answer like this because we can actually break this down. So this becomes a equal to 128 is same as 2 to the power of 7. And this is raised to the 8 over 7. So we see that this 7 cancels out this 7 when the powers multiply. So that we have a to be equal to 2 to the power of 8 which is equal to 256. So our value for A is 256. 
Now let's check to see if our value of A is actually correct. So let's check. Now I'm checking to see when I put 256 on the left hand side if I'm going to be getting 128. So we have on the left, we have the square root of A. A is 256 times the square root of A is 256 times the square root of A is 256. So this becomes the square root of 256 times the square root of 256. So we'll start with this square root. The square root of 256 is actually 16. That is it. Now let's continue. So this becomes the square root of 256 times the square root of. Now there is something we have to do here. This can also be written as the square root of 256 times the square root of 16. Now simplifying further, we have the square root of 256 times the square root of 256 is 16 times the square root of 16 is 4. And now continue. This expression can be written as the square root of 256 times the square root of 16 times the square root of 4. So this becomes the square root of 256 is 16 times the square root of 16 is 4 times the square root of 4 is 2. And when we multiply 16 times 4 times 2 is 128. So A is actually 256. Well, feel free to share your ideas in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video and have learned something from this video, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my upcoming videos. And like I always say, until next time, take care.